this year's Survivor South Pacific Castaway Clan are hitting the beach, pumped up and ready to go. I'm motivated, I'm prepared, I feel primed to do really well in this game and I, I feel like I've you know, put myself in a position to succeed. I look around at my other castmates, I don't see a lot of threats. I've applied 14 times to actually play the game of Survivor and finally to make it. I've had three interviews and it, and it still seems like a, a dream to me, you know, just to be here. But it's, oh, and I'm pumped, I'm excited. <laughs> well, I'm originally from Jersey, but this is going to be nothing like Jersey Shore. I'm here to show them what a real Jersey girl's about. What doesn't make me the ultimate survivor? I don't think that there's anybody else on this island that quite has the background that I do between corporate America, an MBA from Michigan, and owning a wine store, world poker tour champion, and a marijuana dispensary owner. I'm stoked. I mean, this is, I've never done anything like this. So this is completely out of my comfort zone. And I think my fans will have an amazing time watching this. People may think I'm Barbie, but I'm actually closer to kick-ass Barbie. Well, I think they're perceiving me as a daddy bear. You know what I mean? I'm a daddy, you know? I'm also a bear, so you can, you know, which, you know, they can perceive me how they want, you know? Everybody needs a daddy. I've been told that I'm a bit of a flirt, but really I'm more of a charmer. I grew up in a house with five kids and I was the youngest, so I know how to bat my lashes, I know how to get what I want. Am I the smartest person here? Yeah, I mean, I guess book smart, I probably am on paper the smartest person here. And we'll see, I think I'll be the, you know, the smartest socially <laughs> and the survivor smartest as well. I know people are gonna look at me, they're gonna think I'm a nerd, which is accurate. They're gonna think I'm weak, which is also accurate. And then they're gonna say, all right, we'll make you the puzzle guy for all the challenges. You'll be the puzzle guy. I was born with congenital heart block. I have a pacemaker, so it's gonna be an issue where they're gonna think, you know, oh, he can get sympathy votes, you know, because he has a heart condition. So right off the bat, I know I'm behind the eight ball. I teach English at Brigham Young University in Provo, Utah, which I love. And I'm married to uh, my best friend, Dave, and we have six kids and they're all adopted. My name is Brandon Hance. I'm 19 years old and I'm from Houston, Texas. My uncle Russell, he played this game a couple times. He's, he's pretty notorious for being the survivor villain. I don't like negativity. I do not like any negative vibe coming in my air. If you do, got to shut you down. You gotta go. Get out of here, you can't be here with me. I live in Las Vegas. The good to glam life of Las Vegas is so wonderful. <laughs> I get to look down from my balcony on the 37th floor of my high-rise condo um, right on the strip at all the sparkling lights and I love it. Well, hold the glitz for a moment because the group will soon be joined by two former well-known castaways who promise to shake things up. There's apprehension but there's also excitement because um, depending on who it is, they can either stay or they can go quickly. Based on the historical winnings, they're more apt to win. So we have to balance utilizing them but not let them get too far in the game. Not so easy to do. Especially when the two veterans will be doing plenty of scheming themselves to stay alive.